Hi, I want to take a little bit of time to talk about drafting the essay because that is a major thing that you're going to be doing this week. You're going to be drafting the introduction and the first two body paragraphs, at least. You can have more than that if you want. If you want to know more about drafting the essay, I recommend going to the prompt. The prompt gives you all the information about what you need to have in this essay. Plus, there is a sample essay that can serve as a model. I want to take you to the first page right away. You can get a printable copy of the prompt by clicking on that link, as well as the rubric. That's how I'm graded it, by printing on that link. A couple things I want to note is that you're writing for an audience of students and professors who do not know the websites you're analyzing and who may not be familiar with lateral reading strategies. That means you're going to have to describe everything. The website where the article you're evaluating is from, the article itself, as well as the process of lateral reading. That's a phrase that some of your audience, not me, but some of your imaginary audience might not be familiar with. You're going to evaluate one of these two articles, and they're both very controversial. One is about using masks to stop the spread of COVID-19, and the other is about energy, um, renewable energy, and whether or not we should embrace that. How many articles, how many sources do you need for this essay? You need at least four to answer the questions about who's behind the information and what their purpose is. And you need at least four sources to evaluate the first piece of evidence that you identify in the article. I know it says claim. Claims and evidence are linked, but I want you to evaluate the evidence that you find. Ultimately, you'll be evaluating the claim also. If you want to earn an A, you need four more websites to evaluate a second piece of evidence. I changed the due dates because this is our last essay and I wanted to give you a little bit of extra time. Um, instead of this Thursday, your introduction and first two paragraphs will be due Saturday, November 21st. Your first Full draft is due December 2nd, and your final draft is due on the last day of class, which is December 9. Let me take you to the sample essay that you can review. Now, it's here, but if you click on this link, you'll see a different copy. And this copy has comments on it because I want to walk you through my process particularly in the introduction, where I'm doing a lot of very important work. You'll notice in the comments, I say you need to introduce the controversy surrounding the topic you'll examine. Think of this as the they say. They say this um, about minimum wage. Remember, I'm writing about minimum wage because that's an article you're familiar with. The next thing I do is introduce the text and provide a short summary of the argument and how the author builds it. And then I need to indicate what I'm going to do in this essay. This is my project. And then I'm going to create a thesis. Is this a good article or not? Can I trust it or not? So let's take a look at what I do. There's no question that it has become increasingly difficult to make ends meet, particularly for Americans earning minimum wage. This has led some straight legislatures to increase the minimum wage. They say this will stimulate the economy, reduce the need for public assistance, and allow workers to take greater pride in their work. However, not everyone agrees, and many businesses claim that these increases will lower their profits so much that they will go out of business. Whether or not to increase the minimum wage and by how much is an important question because it affects the 
lives of low wage workers, as well as the success of the businesses that provide jobs. And it's so it's important to understand the issues surrounding this issue, what is true and what is not. So what is the controversy and why does it matter? You need to introduce that in your article. The next thing you wanna do is introduce the article that you are going to evaluate. And so that's what I do in this pink section. In Why We Should Raise the Minimum Wage, Nobody Deserves to be Living in Poverty, published on Odyssey Online, University of Florida international student Carolina Martin describes the challenges facing minimum wage workers in America and argues that there are many reasons why the minimum wage should be increased. She cites several articles in order to build her argument. So introduce the article, where it was published, when it was published, who the author is, what the article is about and what the main idea is, as well as how the author builds that argument. The next thing I wanna do is introduce my I say. Now, this isn't my own opinion because that's not what kind of article essay you're writing. What this is, is an article, an essay that evaluates the article. So I'm going to say this essay or in this essay, I examine this article, the article I just introduced, by asking three key questions about the strength of the source and using lateral reading strategies in order to analyze and evaluate the trustworthiness of the source and the claims that Martin makes. You can use this sentence as a model for your project, because that is what your essay is going to do. Obviously, you're not going to evaluate Carolina Martin's article about minimum wage. You're going to evaluate the article on masks or the article on renewable energy. The final thing you'll have is a thesis. And that is your claim about the trustworthiness about the article. After evaluation of the source, it's clear that although some of the claims in the article may be valid, this article lacks authority. You may actually end up with a much stronger article. And in fact, I may modify my thesis after I evaluate her evidence. Here's my first body paragraph. And this article is all about, let me add a note here. I want to introduce lateral reading for readers who do not know what it is and explain the process as well as give Green credit for his introduction of these questions, the questions I will use. I recommend that you have a paragraph like this. Why? Because it helps guide readers. So I review this video. In his crash course videos teaching digital literacy produced with Google and Stanford University, novelist John Green claims better information leads to better decision making. He includes three questions that people should ask when evaluating what they read on the internet. The first of these questions is, who is behind the source? This can include the author. I wanna explain what that question is about. If the author is named, as well as who supports the author or who sponsors the video. The second question is what is their purpose? By understanding motivation of the article and the author and the sponsor of a site, it's possible to see behind any information they might provide and evaluate how trustworthy it might be. Green observes the that websites often provide some of this information, but he recommends that readers use lateral reading in order to understand who is behind the source. Lateral reading is when readers look 
off the website in order to find what others say about this source. So that is just to guide my audience. And now I wanna walk them through the, the process. And you'll notice I'm using a lot of things like the first thing I do is, or further research, or the byline on the article, because I want to take a little bit of time. In fact, I have three paragraphs evaluating the source and their purpose. The first thing I do is examine the website on which this article is posted by going to Wikipedia. And then I examine the sources that I find on Wikipedia. And then I have an article that I didn't find on Wikipedia that I found on a Google search. And I have two of those that I found on the Google source. And then I evaluate Carolina Martin. So what do we need in the introduction? Introduce the controversy, introduce the source and the argument, introduce your project for the essay and provide a thesis. Know that you may modify that thesis after you do all the work. I wanna let my readers know, as you will want to, what lateral reading is and what the questions you are are that you are going to use to evaluate the article. And then you start evaluating. That's all I've got for now, but there will be more.